Yannick Sinner versus Emil Rusevori is the first quarterfinal for the Men's Miami Open for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. Rusevori started the tournament off unseeded and would take on the qualifier Borges in the first round. This was no problem, getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, he'd take on the number 22 seed, Batista Agu. And after a second set tie break, Rusevori would get through in straights, 6-4, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on Daniel, the wild card who had been in very good form, beating Zverev easily in the second round. But again, after a second set tie break, Rusevori would win in straights, 6-3, 7-6, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 26th seed, Van der Zanschul. And this was by far Rusevori's hardest match to date. After losing the first set, he would fight back to win, 4-6, 6-4, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. Yannick Sinner started the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Jera. But this was no problem for Sinner, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the 21 seed, Dimitrov. But again, this was no problem for Sinner, getting through easily in straight sets. 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number six seed, Rublev. We had had interesting matches against in the past, but Sinner was on fire and destroyed Rublev 6-2, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinal stage. These two have played four times before with Sinner leading the head-to-head 4-0 and Rusevori only winning one set in those four meetings, but that was in Miami last year and that went to a third set tiebreak and was an absolute epic. If Rusevori is going to win this one, he needs to serve well and be aggressive. Sinner's been playing so well from the baseline like we saw against Rublev. He's got to make him move around and try and put him in awkward positions. Maybe use some drop shots, come to the net, stuff like that. Because if he gives Sinner what he wants, Sinner's just going to demolish him. Sinner's going to win this one. He needs to play like he has been all week. He hasn't lost a set all week. Doesn't even look like losing a set this week. And his ground strokes on the forehand and backhand have been ridiculous. So he needs to keep hitting those really well to get past Rusevori. This is a kind of a random matchup because of course, Rusevori, we didn't expect to be here. But Sinner we did. And Sinner's been in very, very good form. I'm going to go with Sinner in straight sets here. I think he's going to do very well against Rusevori like he has done against some of the other guys he's played this week and I think it's gonna be an easy straight sets but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is gonna win this matchup